It's time to reveal the winners of the Walk Car Car of the Year Awards 2023. The DCS Andero is a really cheap small car that you don't have to use that much money for. The Ford Fiesta, you can have tons of fun in. And the Mini, you can look at its beautiful insides. But for small cars, you have to pick the Honda Jazz. I know this may be Honda's smallest model and it may look like an MPV more than a small car, but trust me, it's a small car. The Skoda Scala, Skoda Octavia and BMW 1 Series are all great family cars, but the new Honda Civic is great at everything. It runs on hybrid power and yeah, in hot hatchbacks, the Volkswagen Golf R and Mercedes AMG 45S are pretty cool in my opinion, but you have to pick the smaller ones, which are the Hyundai i20N. Better than the normal i20 because it's more sportier. The Volkswagen T-Roc wins as the best small SUV, beating off the outdated Duster, Ford Puma and Audi Q2. The Skoda Karoq, Genesis GV70 and Land Rover Defender are some good SUVs for if you have kids, but buy a Kia Sportage and all that will increase. This has striking looks and hybrid electric technology. What's not to love? The Lexus NX is the best plug-in hybrid to buy. Again. It beats the Audi A3, Hyundai Santa Fe and the new Range Rover Sport. The Fiat 500 and Cooper Born are some pretty cool small electric cars, but not as good as the new MG4. This is the cheapest electric car on sale. Buy it if you want to. The BMW i7 and Mercedes-Benz EQE are some pretty cool out of, out of the big electric cars, but the Volkswagen ID Buzz is based off of the camper van from the 1950s, but two times cooler. You should buy this. The Kia EV9 wins the Viewers Award sponsored by MotorEasy.com. People are looking forward to seeing this when it comes out later this year. I think I'm looking forward to it. It looks pretty cool. The Tesla Model 3 wins the Efficiency Award because it's like the best electric car ever. Do you think the BMW 3 Series will win as the best executive car? Nope, it's the Tesla Model 3. Surprising, because the 3 Series recently got a facelift, but they chose the Model 3 for no reason. This thing is better than the Skoda Superb and Mercedes-Benz C-Class. The Skoda Superb Estate is the best estate car that you can buy because one, it keeps winning and two, I don't know, it beats the MG5, BMW 3 Series Touring and BMW 5 Series Touring. The Dacia Jogger, Peugeot E-Rifter and BMW X7 are the greatest cars with two extra seats, but the Hyundai Santa Fe beats them because it's really that cool. It was also Hyundai's first ever SUV. The BMW i7 would have been the best luxury car if it wasn't for the new Range Rover Sport which is the actual winner. Yeah, this has been in the luxury SUV scene since 2005, and it's like the cheaper version of the Range Rover. You should buy the Genesis GV60. It's the best electric SUV. Like the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6, this is the exact same. It beats the MG ZS EV, BMW iX3, and BMW iX. Tesla Model Y wins the Safety Award. Lexus wins the Reliability Award. The BMW i7 theatre screen is the technology award winner, the Ad and the Audi Q5 wins the tow car awards. If you want a coupe, BMW 4 Series is your only choice, because I don't think you'll like the Audi TT, Cupra for Mensar, or Bentley Continental, because, yeah. The Mazda MX-5 and Audi R8 are some pretty cool stuff if you want a sports car, but buy a Porsche 718 Cayman, and then all your worries are over. This thing is outstanding. Enough said. The Ford Puma ST is the best performance SUV because it's one of the cheapest ones. You should buy one. I bet you'd love it. It beats the Porsche Cayenne Coupe and Aston Martin DBX. The BMW 2 Series Coupe and... And the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio are good performance cars, but not as cool as the Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo, which is the best in the class, no matter what. 
The BMW 4 Series convertible is the best convertible, beating the Fiat 500 and Lexus LC. And we have voted for the Volkswagen ID Buzz as the best car of this year. I don't really have anything to say, this is just a really cool large electric car. It's much better than the BMW i7. Enough said. That's the end. Goodbye.